Hi guys, Brian the Scary Lion back with another video and today I thought I'd do something a little different uh, what I want to do today is I just want to sit and talk with you uh, maybe even turn it into a little discussion if you just want to join in comment down below and let me know your opinion on everything we're about to talk about, to talk about. Uh, now I hope to do a few of these all on different topics so if you're not if today's topic doesn't really interest you don't worry i will be going into other things in the future but today my focus is on uh a couple of things that are going on in the world of wrestling um now i planned on talking about just one thing uh but i've recently just i've literally just sat and watched uh a match that got me so excited and I feel like I want to talk about that as well and uh, so the two topics are I'm going to be talking about Broken Matt Hardy and the other topic is Wrestling Kingdom 12 Kenny Omega versus Chris Jericho uh, so let, let, let's start with um, Walking Matt Hardy because this, this is a massive thing for me i've been ever since the hardys returned to wwe i have been waiting for this moment now for those of you who don't know um broken matt hardy was a gimmick that was that came about outside of wwe during his time with T uh, during matt hardy's time with tna and you look at the gimmick and it really on paper it shouldn't work Basically, Matt Hardy lost his mind and something awoke within within him, a 2,000-year-old soul. And this, he, he, he just went absolutely crazy. He started cutting these strange promos. Uh, he was attacking... this In TNA, he was attacking his brother and uh, trying to break his brother, trying to break him down. And the storyline... Like I say, on paper it shouldn't work. Like if you went to, say you went to Vince McMahon with it and uh, went, yeah, so basically here's the full idea. I'm going to go crazy and uh, I'm going to have this soul wake up inside of me and I'm going to talk a lot of weird, messed up stuff. Uh, so yeah, what do you think? Vince McMahon would say his favourite two words, you're fired. <laughs> Literally just because it's that outrageous. But when you actually see it, it is one of the best gimmicks I have ever seen in my life. And I've watched wrestling basically my whole life. It is, it's just brilliant. It works so well. Um, so yeah, um, seeing it actually come to fruition in WWE, it, it was like opening a present at Christmas if you're a kid and you're opening a present at Christmas that excitement and that joy and there's a lot of great points to it as well they've they've worked it they've worked it really well actually saying um putting Bray Wyatt in the storyline along with it, along with him Bray Wyatt's uh 2017 was below par shall we say it, it's not exactly his fault it was given some really bad really really bad stories like the whole wrestlemania thing with uh the the maggots and everything on the projector into the screen just ridiculous and then the whole house of horrors oh they 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 just need to use bray wyatt a lot better because bray wyatt is amazing and putting him into this like this massive thing as, as soon as uh, it was announced that Bray Wyatt was broken, it just, media blew up about it. Every, everybody, every wrestling fan just went crazy. Because if, if, if you only watch WWE, you don't really know much about the whole broken character unless you've seen like it on YouTube. But if you actually watched TNA along the whole Broken Matt Hardy story, then you know how great it is and how well Matt can work it. Uh, so th this is definitely going to propel Matt into the title shot, uh, title picture in the future. 
and I've got a feeling that it's going to build Bray Wyatt back into being took seriously, took as a proper threat rather than just what he's been seen as lately. Um, on to more of it. Does this mean we are going to see Jeff Hardy fade away and classi classify himself as obsolete? Will we be seeing Brother Nero making an appearance as well? Because Brother Nero was amazing as well. So having that whole broken mat Brother Nero tag team, like it'll it just works. It works brilliantly. But if WWE decide not to go ahead with uh, Brother Nero and just have the Hardys go in separate ways, uh, Matt sticking with just being broken and Jeff staying the way he is but going on single single matches I've got a feeling that both will be able to blow up so either way whatever they decide to do with Jeff it's going to work out for him I I, I literally just I, I, I feel amazing seeing it as, as, as a wrestling fan if you can get those moments that just grab you and make you feel like just feel deep down inside excited about something then it, it's it's brilliant because WWE we know can make some questionable choices like Jinder Mahal as champion it was just forced upon us it was like yeah here's your breakfast you're having broccoli for breakfast breakfast don't like it open your mouth shoving it down there that's basically how it went with Jinder Mahal, and it, it's the same way like Roman Reigns. They try to force feed Roman Reigns down our throat. I mean, Roman Reigns is brilliant in the ring. Don't get me wrong, but you force you're forcing him upon us. Just stop. So yeah, to see Broken Matt brought in, they've actually made a really good choice with that. I know it was a long fought battle, I know there was court cases on whether or not they could actually use that gimmick. I'm glad they won, I'm glad they won because I can't wait to see where, where, they can, where WWE can take the broken Matt gimmick. Hopefully they don't destroy it, hopefully they'll let Matt just take range on it, let, let him fly away with it. But yeah, he is looking to the future with that one. Now I'd like to go on to one, the other topic, which is Kenny Omega versus Chris Jericho at Wrestling Kingdom. And oh my god, what a match. Have we actually got a contender for match of the year at the beginning of 2018? Um, there was a lot that went on, the, on in the match. Even from the opening, um, both Kenny Omega and Chris Jericho stood in the ring and... The first thing Chris Jericho does is middle thing sticks his middle finger up at Kenny Omega. I mean, wow. <laughs> That's just a way to get it started, isn't it? Just yeah, straight F you. It gets it gets your opponent fired up, gets you fired up, you're ready to go. And the little uh, sneak attack right at the beginning where uh, Kenny Omega's got his back turned, he's talking to the young bucks. And then just bang, uh, Chris Jericho runs across him, just whacks him out of nowhere. Uh, throughout the match, we got to see a lot of action, like a lot of action. And it definitely proved why Kenny Omega is one of, if not the best in the world right now. And we got to see exactly why Chris Jericho is, is still wrestling, still in... Uh, the biggest company, uh, WWE, the biggest wrestling company in the world, because he, he's not losing it, is he? He's he's just he's keeping on going, and every time we see him in the ring, it's it's he it surprises us by how how agile and how like prepared he is, and th just think, Chris Jericho has been wrestling for a lot of years now. A lot of people by now would have uh, like been slowing down at least, but not not with Chris Jericho. He he seems like he's just accelerating, pushing himself more and more and more, which is brilliant because like 
in the early days of Chris Jericho, everyone saw him as like a mid-carder. He, he, he was no one's favourite. Don't get me wrong, he was brilliant and uh, people did love to watch him, but he was like no one's favourite. But going throughout the years, he's shown us just why he deserves to be at the top where he is. And this match was just so exciting. Like every every time you thought you'd seen everything that they could pull off, bang, out comes a great drop kick. Bang, out out comes another massive clothesline. Bang, out comes a great kick. They just they just kept going, and there was so much going on. Chris Jericho uh, attacking the referee, like he just shoved him, and then he turns on the referee's son like what <laughs> was was there any need like I understand your frustration with the ref but <laughs> you turned on the guy's son and put him in the walls of Jericho you literally screamed at him are you watching this <laughs> oh and the uh, <laughs> the fact that Chris, Chris Jericho we've seen so much from him but I've never seen him this brutal like, in this match, he was so brutal. He held nothing back. And it's the same with Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega, just, he went full force with it as well. Every, every time it looked like Kenny Omega was down and out, like, it, it, there was a lot of times it looked like he was just ready to go. He was done. And he just bounced straight back in. And... That that's the that's the like power of Kenny Omega. He can make you feel like, oh, what's going to happen here? What's is is it done? Is it completely smashed? And then bang, he just bursts out and delivers another thing that'll just make you make your head explode. One one of the things I would love uh love to talk about right now is it was a moment with uh, Chris Jericho climbing to the top rope with a uh, chair in hand and Kenny Omega delivered the most beautiful and I mean beautiful drop kick it had the perfect high it had the perfect accuracy it had the perfect power and oh my god I, I, I literally just watched in pure awe I replayed that drop kick like 20 times uh, no joke it was picture perfect uh there might be people out there who don't really know who uh, Kenny Omega is and if you don't get a clue <laughs> honestly because he, he is I, I think he may actually be the best wrestler in the world right now honestly um, but yeah he's the leader of Bullet Club um, if you don't know who Bullet Club are again you really should know this but if you don't know who they are uh, Bullet Club was formed back in 2013 I believe by um, Finn Balor and um, Finn Balor and I believe Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows I believe don't hold me to that because my memory is a little foggy uh, the second leader uh, after a while um, the second leader took over and that was uh, AJ Styles. AJ Styles was the leader of uh, Bullet Club for a while and um, then it was Kenny Omega. Now Bullet Club are well known. They are probably the biggest known faction in the world right now and yeah uh, I'd say what I'll do is I'll say go and check out uh, what you can online about the Bullet Club if you don't know who they are. Go to YouTube, watch some videos. Um, but yeah, they are the the Bullet Club are well known, and th there's a reason for it. That's that's what I'll basically say on that. But uh, yeah, getting back to the match, a lot of weapon shots, like so many weapon shots. Uh, the first, the first, th the first thing we saw someone go through the table. Uh, basically, Chris Jericho got uh, thrown out of the ring. And he's there on the side barriers. And Kenny Omega goes to fly over the ropes to hit him. 
and instead goes straight through an announcer's table, taking out one of the announcers. I have never, like, I, I've sat and watched matches and felt like, wow, this is amazing, what am I watching? This match made me feel like I was in pure ecstasy watching it. Like, in a pure, pure feeling of light. That's the best way I can describe it, a pure feeling of light. And hopefully the rumours are true. And uh, we do get to see Kenny Omega come to WWE. Because it, I just feel like it could flourish. Uh, do not bring him in on NXT. I say bring him straight onto the main brand. Because he, he, he's ready for it. People will fall, even those who don't know him, will fall in love with him as soon as they see him. Honestly, Kenny Omega is just brilliant. And let's talk about the final spot of the night. Oh my god. One winged angel onto the steel chair. I was speechless, like pure speechless. That was executed with such precision and so well. I Hats off to both of them. Honestly, they ha they put on an amazing match. Like, there's no taking away from either of them. Like, I, I know watching it, it's like uh, Chris Jericho held most of the match. Like, it, it looked like he was winning for most of the match. But both of them collectively put on such an amazing match. So, <laughs> bravo, honestly. I, I, I just want to see more. <laughs> I honestly want to see more Kenny Omega versus Chris Jericho. Maybe it could be a best of three. I don't know. But yeah, just <laughs> thank you to both of them for making making me smile a lot. But yeah, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, comment down below anything, any of your points on either... Uh, Walk and Matt Hardy, can't say broken unfortunately, but yeah, Walk and Matt Hardy or uh, the Kenny Omega versus Chris Jericho match because I'd love to hear your opinions on both both points because they, they mean a lot to me, so yeah, I would love to hear how they make you feel. Um, if you like the video, give it a like, um, subscribe so you can keep up to date with everything. Hit that bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a new video. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.